Okay, what's going on guys? Steven Davidson here in the Shea video. I've got about three days worth of beard growth, so let's get started. Going with my usual suspect, the Omega. Synthetic bore, 10019, 24mm night. For my mustache area, I'm going to go with my Doc by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And here I am taking it apart so I can show what kind of blades in the razor, and which is a feather blade in the razor. Second shave on this blade, I do believe. Yep, second shave on the blade. And I'm going to go with my Commissory Shavette. This will be the last shave with this thing ever. You will see why here in a little bit. And the star of today's party, Barrister Man's Reserve Cool. And let me tell you, this stuff is fantastic. It reminds me of Floyd Blue. And I'm going to finish it off with Aqua Velva Classic Ice Blue Aftershave. Don't worry, i got another bottle I haven't touched yet. I keep that in stock. So here I am wet in the face. I just got out of the shower. This was a warm water shave. All right, now to load up. Barrister of Man's a great soap. However, it can be expensive and this, once again the Floyd Blue scent really knocks my scent socks off. Barrister Man's a great soap and it's decent amount of money for it and reasonably somewhat reasonably priced. But it's a thirsty soap, an extremely thirsty soap which is by design and that's a good thing. Here I am getting a proto leather off my uh, puck there. But uh, yeah, you want a real thirsty soap, which means it can retain a ton of water, which is a good thing. I think that's what I'm doing right now is adding more water to the brush. As you can see, I got it pretty pasty and what little bit I loaded. Again, new guys, you don't really need a thick coat or a pasty coat and it is wet shaving so don't be afraid to add more water if you add too much water you can always go back to the puck and uh, add a little bit more soap to the equation till you get it mixed right till you get the ratio you want as you can see I pretty much got it real pasty and I do not like that I like it really slick wet leather pretty much you put it where I want it and then I just keep adding water till I get it to the consistency I want there we go getting that sheen to it that wet look add more water Keep adding water. See what I mean? Barrister Man could take a ton of water. Working it in a little good. Yeah, you want to work the soap into your beard and the lather into your beard real good. So, because that's the point. I don't do anything prior to this other than shower. Add more water. Uh, yogurt anyone <laughs> good stuff okay now add a little bit more water there we go better now to clean up the excess leather
that one of my viewers said he bought numerous razors and he kept going back to his McCore 34C heavy duty style which I thought about getting at one point or another and I also thought about getting the Edwin Jagger DE89 again which is a solid razor beginners and seasoned veterans alike love those razors that's why they keep selling them but I'm thinking I'll go with the Mercor 34C uh, possibly when I get a chance to that's if I don't go with uh, Phoenix Earth's accoutrements double open comb razor the original double open comb that seems to give me the closest shave of my entire collection. Now for the Commissorian, not good is an understatement. Uh, the blade felt rough and tugged and pulled and whatnot. And you, as you can see, it started catching like halfway through the first pass. So the first couple of strokes felt decent, but you could tell there was something not quite right. So you can see me squint there because it was pulling the hair rather than slightly tuggy and uh, pulling the hair before cutting it which is never a good thing oof there we go now I'm going to switch hands and get the other side see how I'm pulling down on the skin with my uh, opposite hand there I do that every time. Going with the grain, not too bad. Going across the grain, yeah, decent. But th this razor's just not for me. I mean, I gave it a fair shot, and the first two shaves I tried with it didn't end up on video. One of them did, and didn't last for very long because the audio was jacked. But this one here, I'm doing voiceover, and here I go stretching the skin. Stretch the skin, new guys. I can't stress this enough. Now I'll switch hands and I'll do the other side. Where it pulled off the hair instead of uh, cutting it cleanly. On the chin, it's uh, iffy. You just got to be careful and use a light touch. but Because that area is so sensitive, it's not funny. Oof. It's a real sensitive area right here, but also the toughest. The goatee area is usually the most sensitive for most men. But it's also the toughest area of your face to shave because of the roundness of it. It's... Uh, and also, um, the hair tends to be even more coarse than normal, thicker and heavier. So the goatee hair is usually the roughest part. There I'm trying to line up the sideburns. Try to keep them even as much as I can. There we go, I got it pretty much lined up where I wanted it to. Okay, now for the dock. Second shave on this feather blade. It got a little bit more action today than normal, too. This is my new mustache razor from here on out, ladies and gentlemen. The Twig Sculptor Wild Great Trimmer is a terrible pain to load the blade in. Two, from where I've pulled blades out of it so much, that it's now time to retire it. I'm waiting on Razor Rock's uh, three piece single edge that uses a half DE blade before long. Hopefully, it'll be ready soon. It's in, currently in production, but there's no telling we'll be out. Not bad for a first pass. That pass went okay, but it was slightly uncomfortable. Rinsing off a little bit here, getting my washcloth here, or as we say in a 
South wash rag. Whew. Drying off the old hands too while I'm at it. Time to paint the fence for pass number two. Left my face a little bit more watery this time around, so as you can see, it's a little bit thinner and thinner. And Bear Striker, man, can handle a ton of water. And the Reserve Cool scent is amazing. If you ever tried uh, Blue Barber Shop from uh, Razor Rock, or if you managed to be lucky and get a hold of a Floyd Blue, I'm telling you, this is as close as you're going to get to it. Okay, now I'm going to do the cross the grain, and this is where things go south, even though I stretch the skin and I use a light touch. Not on this side, but on the opposite side. Stretching the skin. That's important, ladies and gentlemen. See, your face is round and the blade is flat for the most part. Uh, it's in there a certain way and the geometry's already been predetermined. Square peg into a round hole, that's why you stretch your skin flat so you can get a close shave. Safety bar rolls the skin away from the blade and does the stretching for you. Now I'm going to go with the grain on my neck area. Stretching the skin. Okay, that takes care of that half of the face. As soon as I get my chin here, going across the green on my chin is not too bad. It's relatively easy. I can't go near my mustache with this uh, commissory here, there I am stretching skin again paying close attention to what I'm doing and as you can see I'm squinting because it's pulling pretty good at this point I guess I just got a bad blade or something I don't know all I know is that this is the last shave on this and that's where things went bad right here coming up Okay, stretch the skin on, get the opposite side, go the opposite direction here. Alright, go with the grain. I'm pulling down on the skin and tilt my head back to stretch my skin on the neck area. There we go. Now for the dot going across the green on my uh, nose hair, mustache area. The fulcrum. Inflate the cheek a little bit. Yeah, according to Dr. Matt, the closest shave he ever seen me get was with this uh, specific razor. And uh, not a lot of blood at all. A few bumps got, but yeah. Other than that, that's about normal though. Okay. Now we lather it. We're it's off a bit here. Getting ready to lather up for the third and final pass. Or what I was thought would be the third and final pass. Ended up doing another half pass after the fact. Pretty decent on the cheeks, but definitely needed a third pass. Neck area also wasn't cleaned up enough.
Okay, leather up. Or vinyl pass. Go go ahead and do the old uh, circle leather in here to get all the soap I can out of the brush. I'm not trying to build the lather, just trying to get enough lather out of it. Adding some more water. There we go. Okay, first up, the commissary. I'm going to go with the grain on my neck area. I'm thinking it might be a wise decision for me to call it quits with straights here because uh, I'm just. Uh, My shaky hands really kicked in tonight, and two, as you're about to see here in a few minutes, or here in about a half minute or so, uh, this kind of sorry shaving is just not for me. left a lot behind on my neck area when I do mean a lot I do mean a lot and the razor tug that pulled something fierce throughout this last part of the shave inflating the oil air into my cheek here to get that skin stretched out a little bit more to where I get it so you can see the blood's coming see I had to have more lather to clean up my neck and the blood was pretty nasty had a little bit more water too slinking up the soap more but I'm pretty much done with straights and uh, against the grain on my mustache area but I'm pretty much done with uh, straight razors at this point I mean I my skin is so sensitive I just can't handle it no more. I get a better shave with these now. Figure that one out, right? And I don't shave every day. That's the thing about it. I give my skin a break between shaves. This one here was three days worth of beard growth. And I won't shave again. Let's see, today's early Saturday morning, so that makes it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, going into Wednesday next week before I shave again. I'll tell you this much, it won't be with a straight razor or this commissary ever again. To go against the grain on my neck. Right there below my bottom, right there on the front of my chin, just below my uh, bottom lip. 
the problem area too that I had to go against the green. Got it where I needed it. Okay, a little spot right there. A little bit more there. There we go. Now this is on the right side of my face. It goes straight out after where I stop. Curls upward. quite get the sideburns where I wanted like I thought I did that's the trouble with having gray and white hair and silver you can't have silk and bright light uh, where you need to trim up your sideburns if you want to keep it that way <laughs> and as you can see I got a lot of blood in this one and that was no fun at all I mean, yeah I'm wiping it off with warm water first. There we go. Now for the cold water. Filling up the sink now. Sent out my wife cough real good. Cold weather is very soothing after a shave. It's also very soothing with a shave. Cold water shaving is really nice. Does a phenomenal job. Gets you a closer shave, I think. Because uh, back in the day, in the early 1900s and whatnot, when this style of DE shaving came out, uh, only the wealthy kings and queens and whatnot could afford the hot water. So a lot of people would use a cold water in the form of a pitcher and whatnot and on your vanity with a mirror. Styptic pencil time. That's a Clubman Jumbo Styptic pencil. You can get it at Walmart for a little over three dollars and they go a long way but with my sensitive skin as you can see I've used mine quite a bit and as you can see I'm getting a pretty good burn from it too. Right there, in that area. Ooh. Nasty. Working it in real good, too. You end up doing an extra half pass. with the dock on my neck here because it just wasn't working for me. There we go. Let the stuff do its thing and rinsing it off and drying it off at the same time afterwards. I usually let it air dry overnight. Then pull out the Macad Razor's Allen block because I don't think that would help this time around. Okay, giving a stick to pencil time to do its thing. You gotta give it time, ladies and gentlemen. If you just put it on to stop the bling and then just sit there and let it do its thing and you'll be okay but if you just put it on and just wipe it off no sooner you put it on you kind of defeating the purpose you gotta let it do its thing all right 
clean out the old brush a little bit. I went with the Omega Synthetic Bore 10019 24mm knot. Went with a Commissori. No good. Last one on this one. No more. After this, that was like the third shave in a row. I couldn't get anything. I went with a dock for my mustache area. Second shave on the feather blade that was in it. And the star of today's party was Barrister Man Reserve Cool, which is a tallow based soap and it's a Floyd Blue scent. And I'm going to finish it off with good old Aqua Velva Classic Ice Blue aftershave. Don't worry, I've got another bottle that I haven't opened just yet. I keep this in stock. Alright, let's do a cold water. Let's do another rinse here. Cold water rinse. As you can see, the styptic pencil's turned white. Now, see how it's turned white in some areas? That means I'm done using it. It's time to wipe it down real good. Well, apart from the blood, the shave was pretty good. I had to do more than normal, which is to be expected considering that the commissary does not do good on the neck area. Rinsing out my washcloth here. Okay, now I'm shaking up my Aqua Velvet Classic Ice Blue Aftershave, which is fantastic. It was one of my personal favorites and will always stay in the old shave cave. That skin bracer and uh, original and Barbasol Brisk. Man, this, this felt really good and soothing after this. Put the rest of it on to clean my sorry honey can up. <laughs> Feeling real good after this one. And uh That'll be it. Get a little bit of leftover that was out of the top of the decanter, if you will, or the opening. All right. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Take care, and God bless. I will see you guys on the next shave. Later.